Salty, he salty, she salty, so salty I'm saucy, drip off, then use caution No talking, you salty, I'm frost Diamonds talking, that they walking Shorty stalking, wanna peel skin Rubber bands being, being Franklin Wet paint, house of bank, fill a plane You a lame, beat insane, stay in your lane Diamonds the rain, ice out the chain Pull up in the tank, custom the pain Woo! Diamond the fame, move out to the rain, pull up with the gang, sharp as a blade, come get this fade, matching the stays, I'm getting paid, you look like a slave, killers is trained, don't hang with them lanes, he just wanna steal my clout, you know what the gang, get out, I'm good on the north and the south, drip rock good with the sauce, diamonds all over my mouth, get lit, play ball, top golf, I got the net on lock, Gucci the collar is popped, what you wanna do, got options, I got a water park, basketball tan is golf, salty, he salty, she salty, so salty, I'm saucy, drip off, then use caution, no talk, you salty, I'm frosty, I'm bossing, always flossing, fresh like a coffin. Don't test my dogs, man. What's happening with fucking cool kids? It's your butt. So this is going on. Back again with another video. I know I got the hoodie on. It's probably the first time y'all ever seen me with the hoodie on. But you know what? My hair is messed up. I ain't even ashamed to tell y'all because it doesn't matter how my hair looks. Alright? I'm about to get the closet started today. It's finally the sixth and it's the first day of school. So all the kids getting ready to leave. It's about to be a super quiet house and all the workers that come are gonna be able to focus on doing what I can't wait to see. So for the last time, I'll give you guys a before and after scene, man, you know what I'm saying? Plain walls, nothing on this side. We got windows right there that's about to disappear and we got some stuff that needs to be painted over here. But all of this, I'm telling you, on the 15th, it's gonna be complete. All this is gonna be put away and it's gonna be so marvelous in here. Hey here, baby, looks like they brought the big truck out today. Let's go. Royalty about to take Jaleah to school. Let's see if Royalty care about my closet. You happy for me? What? My, my stuff. Yeah, finally, I Ru myself. Really? Hey, man, I'm finally back in here helping my boy James and Gil over there. They're working super hard and they haven't even started on the closet stuff. They just started on moving my lazy butt stuff because if this was royalty stuff, she would have already moved it on her own. But the California closet representative that I have, Andrea, she told me rest assured that Gil and James are strong and more than prepared to do this. And they are. I'm just deciding to help them so you know what I'm saying? We can get this job done a lot quicker because I want to see my closet done. Look at this. This ain't the closet. Can't have the stuff up in here. This is just cramping out my area. You know what I'm saying? I be blogging and stuff, editing, and this cannot be in here too long. Let's check on my squad. Ding! Look at all this wood, man. This is crazy. Perfectly designed to build the one and only CJ So Cool closet, man. This is gonna be crazy. I already told you guys that I paid for this already, but I didn't tell you how much it cost unless I did and I forgot. I'm gonna just let you guys know. This was $46,000, all right? So look at all this wood. This look like I got ripped off, man, because tell me the truth. This don't look like $46,000 worth of wood. I'm about to have to smack somebody. I might have to get something done, because this, oh, they still bringing more? Are you kidding me? So how much wood is left? A lot more? Oh, so this is just a fraction. Okay, I thought you guys was almost done, man. I was scared. I'm like, how is this gonna be enough wood to build the massive closet that I paid for? You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure it's right, Gil. I ain't know y'all brought two trucks. Okay, okay. Now I see what's going on. I thought it was just this truck. Man, I came outside, they got a whole nother truck out here. This is crazy, man. Shouts out to California Closet and the gang. We about to make history, man. What is this? This is some thin wood right here. I don't know, hopefully that's not mine. But anyway, this is crazy, man. Look at these guys, putting in that work. Y'all need some chips, cake, donuts? Nothing? I'm all right right now. All right, man. Sounding good in here, my boys. Dang! The first piece. Wow. So it's gonna be that tall. I can see it now. Pretty much shoes in there. This is crazy. I love before and after stuff like this, man. As you can see, we got the whole wood shop class in here. How did you guys learn how to do this type of stuff? This looks like Chinese. It looks like it's upside down. It's so hard to read. It is freaking upside down, man. This is crazy, man. I cannot believe that all these little dimensions is gonna be shoe space. You know what I'm saying? Look at these little screws and bolts. It's all nicely, neatly put together. So for all of you kids out there aspiring to be wood shop, wait, what is this job actually called? Carpentry? Yeah. 
For all you carpenters out there, man, be inspired. Look at this, man. This costs 50000 man. I don't know of another job that you can make 50000 from putting some wood together. This is crazy. Now, I don't know if they're getting 50000 but the company, you can own the company. You know what I'm saying? And this is crazy. California Closet has been around for I don't know how long, but I know it's been a while. And this is my first time actually purchasing something from them. He has to focus, but look at this, man. This is crazy. He got the hard part, man. What Gil at? Taking a break, what the? Wow, I see how it is, Gil. Y'all see Big Belly Royalty walk into the room. She's jealous because her closet is already done, and it's not, what, what, I can't hear you. Let me see your closet, man. No, it's not done. It's not done, okay, it's not done, but it's almost getting, oh yeah, you right, you right, you right. But you got a rug in here, still got that, still got a ladder, but, yeah, man, this is nice, but you ain't got nothing on me. Even I had to put some of my stuff over there because I washed my own clothes. Tell the truth, didn't I wash my own clothes? No. Was you impressed? Wait, what? You gonna just lie? Yeah. Wasn't you impressed when I washed and folded my own clothes? And put them in my clothes. Yeah, man, that was the only way I can get my um dirty clothes hamper you back. move your stuff because I'm gonna be filling these up. With I'm gonna move my stuff with baby clothes. What you talking about? This it ain't time. baby clothes section. But they ain't here yet, so why would you be buying baby them clothes, clothes they can't even fit? You don't know what size they wear, man. What if they come? No, newborn. No, what if my babies come out way bigger? You don't know. Like, I... Bruh. Bruh, it's getting loud over and over. He might drill straight through your face, and that'll be crazy, man. I'm sorry if your face falls out. I'm just letting you know right now because it sounds like a lot is going on over there, but it's actually not. I, I've been over there on the other side. It's not like what you think it is. Right? It's just super loud. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Wow, royalty. Nicely done. I wonder if the workers back there are hungry because we got a couple extra pieces. I'm going to go ask them. Those are you. Big belly self, always trying to eat all the food, man. What's wrong with you, man? Oh, yeah, what's this box right here on the table? You might ask, this is a box going to Kamari's house because we forgot to give her two pair of her Jordans. Now, which two pair are those? I'm going to let you guys guess while I'm over here eating my food. What? It sounds so serious out here. Mm. Whoa. I have a whole wood shop class outside and inside my house. This is crazy, man. I'm loving it. I can't lie. They have a name on it, Brady. Yes, sir. You guys know Tom Brady? Oh, yeah. That's my cousin. I didn't know if you guys knew that or not by the resemblance, but that is my last name as well, you know, Brady. Um, the Brady Bunch, that's also in my, in my family history. All these are jokes that I tell way too many times. Wow, he painted this side. Very nice, man. He's already gone? Dang, he's like, I'm done, done. And we got the rest of the crew still in here. This is crazy, man. You guys doing the job that I could never do. I would never be able to do this. I would give up. This is crazy. You guys are just crazy. And my chandelier, as you can see, is already on. I'm getting that usage right now because they needed some light. He over here drawing on my boards and stuff. Make sure you guys, make sure you tell me when you're doing the glass part. Is the glass today? Oh, not today? Okay. In that case, time to get back to my food. Just in case you guys guessed it right, yes, the blueberry yum yums. And, dang, she got two pair of 12s that she ended up leaving out here. She took the gray and white 12s. She also took her 11s, but she left these two pair of 12s because I guess I didn't give them to her on accident because they was hidden under my shoes. This is crazy, man. It's not a dream come true yet because it's not done. So of course it's like hard to visualize what it's gonna look like because it's just a bunch of wood right now. But this is crazy because it's coming true and I just seem like I've been talking about a bunch of nonsense this whole time. But as you guys can see, I haven't been, man. I've never lied to you guys, never tried to show you anything wrong. I've always tried to show you guys the right thing and this is the right thing, all right? Not settling, going after what you really want and getting that no matter how many no's you hear and no matter how long it takes. Always strive for greatness, always finish the race, never give up. Look at all these tools, man. I can start working with some of these. The boys went on break. If you wonder what the heck they is. Oh, Bruh. snaps. Let's see here. Put one of the, nah, I'm not gonna mess. It is mine, you know what I'm saying? I did pay for it, um, but as I wait on hair fair to come back and do my hair again, because I got it wet and it didn't sit right after I put the do-rag on, so stop roasting me already, all right? I know my hair looks jacked up, but it's long. Look at that, look at that, man. My hair did not used to do this, bro. My hair is so freaking long now, man. It's crazy, I'm super glad that I actually grew my hair because my hair has taught me to have patience. I used to didn't have patience. I probably still got a lot of work to do, but now I have a lot of patience, man. I'm not as 
fast with everything. It used to just be like a, a freaking jack rabbit. I'm ready to just get in some stuff and just jack it up. But now I like to think about it and I play chess. I don't just play checkers. It's not a bunch of jumps. It's a bunch of strategies. Anyway, I know you're tired of hearing about stuff like this. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with my freaking hair though, because this is getting annoying. Good morning, guys. I'm still here, same video. And as you can see, as you already knew, probably before I even woke up, I'm in my closet, man, okay? It's still not done. It's only been one day, but we got all the way into the 15. So with that being said, guys, be prepared to see my workers get their butts here. Hopefully they early today. You know, until it's almost eight o'clock, I'm already woke and ready for them to come, just so I can let them in and not go back to sleep though, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really gonna watch them like that. They professionals, they know exactly what they doing. And it's nothing to see until it's all the way done. I mean, seriously, like they don't even have the glass here yet. So this, this is what I consider the boring stuff right here. This is definitely the boring stuff right here. All wood, no glass, no metal, no lighting, just straight up beginning stages, all right? Anyway, look at this, man. What the heck going on? Were they supposed to cut this hole out? I'm gonna have to talk to them about that, man. That look like engineering cut. Um, ooh, okay, never mind. It's probably gonna look like that when it's done. Yeah, they got their little caps and stuff to cover their holes up. Yup, yup. Why is all these holes in here, man? They about to cover that stuff to freak up, bro. Anyway, yeah, man, I had to do a lot of reconfiguration to my house, which is crazy. This whole wall used to have all kind of those outlets in them, like, I don't know, cable cords, all kind of weird stuff, because this used to be a movie theater. This whole room used to be a media room. This is where the couches was at, where they can watch their little movies and stuff. And then of course, up there, I had to do a lot of covering stuff up, because that was the projector up there. So this room has changed so much, but only reason why I'm doing this is to try to elevate my equity. What's equity, might you ask? Because I know a lot of you don't know what the freak equity is, or anything I be talking about, but your parents might know, and not only just the parents, the older people in your life, they might know as well or anybody that got their head on straight, they might know. You could be a kid and still know what equity is. But for those of you that don't know what equity is, it's basically the portion of the home that you own, all right? That portion of the home that you got paid on, you know, nobody, can't nobody tell you nothing about it, all right? Now, put it like this, I'm, I'm gonna keep it simple. If a house costs $1 million and you own half of the house because you paid it off or, you know what I'm saying, you, you elevated it in a way that it began to be worth a million. Such as if the house cost five hundred thousand when you bought it, but you put closets in it, driveways on the side, basketball courts, let's say you change all the lightings, the chandelier, then the house is worth a million, right? If you only owe five hundred thousand and it's worth a million, you have five hundred thousand worth of equity. Now, what that means is the portion of the house you own, all right, or the portion of the house you raised the price of, so it's yours. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't? Okay. Anyway, still, this right here costs about $50,000. In the world of equity, usually when you pay for something, the equity is double what that is. I don't want to be wrong, but what I'm basically saying is, this closet should be worth about $100,000 when they get done. That is crazy. No clothes, no shoes, just the closet itself. That's how equity works. That's why buying is better than renting. And when I rented, I could never do nothing like this. This is changing the whole house, all right? When you own, you can do anything you want. You don't have to ask anybody, but you gotta pay. Now that part sucks, I ain't even making that up. Oh, snaps, the Scooby-Doo gang is here, my boys, what's up? I've been in here, you know, just waiting on y'all, you know, getting it warm. I did a little bit of work, gotta admit, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm just playing. He was like, what the freak you doing, it messed up. But no, nah, man, when y'all gonna put this thing back on, I woke up and started crying, I saw the, um, what that thing was at, when I, right here, what's this doing? We gonna leave this off? Oh, okay. I knew you were trying to prank me. Y'all some pranksters, man. What's up, my boy Gil? Where you come from? I ain't seen you since last time, girl. You the strongest. Why she look stronger than both of y'all, man? What's wrong with y'all? Anyway, what's today? Is today the glass part? No? Still not? Man, I ought to. Anyway, are y'all going to be over there today? Yes. Yes, sir. So they're going to be all the way over there today. As you can see, we started off yesterday. They did a lot, if you ask me, you know what I'm saying? They don't just be in here playing around. So if you want to get you a closet, where you think you should go? California closet, you know what I'm saying? Not California pizza, California closet, man. Let's check on the kids getting ready for school though over here. They better be, what the? There's no kid in here. Oh, hey, nation, you sad? Why you sad? What's your swag on today, Zero? What happened? Oh, okay, girl. Jordan's on, Jordan's shirt, Jordan. Man, you just swaggy. What the freak? What the fuck? Nation, are you kidding me? You got, you got a bread sandwich with nothing on it? I'll try to open it. Don't you need a sandwich bag to put that in? You just gonna leave? Oh, my God, you know what y'all, oh, oh, oh. Let me cut this camera off and help you. 
girl. One thing I miss is Kamari, man. Look at how she left her little bed. Girl, if you watch my video, I'm gonna get your butt as soon as you get back out here. You know you're supposed to make this bed up like so. Anyway, let me check out they. Oh, whoa. Don't do You scared me. What the nation? Trying to hide something. Oh, you was wasting my energy. Oh, your closet looked like a tornado, huh? Let me see. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, you have the Black Panther, yo. Oh, man. <laughs> Why is your dresses all the way over? Like, what is the business? Huh? You was in here playing dress up and stuff, couldn't find your little swag. What's wrong with you, man? Go get your hair done before I bust your head with this note. Leon! Boy, you were scared. <laughs> What's wrong with you, my man? You sleepy? So you only sound like that because it's cold outside. Looking like Beavis and Butthead this morning. Ready to go to school? It's almost time to get the report card. You ready? You ready to get your? Thank you. At least somebody in here got some good grades coming. Cause this dude obviously has an F or a D. He got that sad salty face, man. Let's check on the gang and see you. Whoa, 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 whoa! They was not playing, man. How are they moving so fast? I mean, I know you guys don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, can you hear the difference in here? Bruh, it's not so empty in here that it's a big echo. Now it sounds like small in here. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I just sound like. My voice is compressed and I don't know. I think I like it being empty or maybe I'm just used to it being empty. I don't know, but I know I can't wait to see this mug done. As you can see, they got the power cords up there. They obviously have to have a lot of these because I'm having lights everywhere. Let me see some. Is that a light? Wow, I think that's a pucker light or whatever they call it, puck light. But I'm gonna have color changing lights all up and through here, just like I got up there. The only thing that don't change colors is my chandelier. And that's because that mug is diamond crystals. I don't know if it's supposed to be changing colors. Anyway, let's check on royalty because I'm about to go to the gym. Royalty, you still here? You, you sleep? You itching? You all right? Good morning, guys. I'm still here. Same video, new day, same video. I wish Bruno would shut the freak up, though. Anyway, if you can't tell by now, I'm rocking the gray hair. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's oil. I got all black hair, no gray hair. But shout out to my little brother, Jinx. He been rocking that gray hair, man. But I'm doing this for a very special reason, all right? Usually, gray hair means that you're getting older, which it really isn't the truth. It just has something to do with, I ain't even gonna explain all that, all right? What I'm about to explain, though, is my grandmother just died yesterday, all right? Now, I don't want you guys to get all sad and start crying like Bruno punk butt over there but I do want you to remember one thing we are all born to live and to die all right now to live doesn't mean you just exist it means actually live go out and do something you know what I'm saying make an imprint on this earth that's what I'm trying to say create a legacy leave something behind so that people can remember you all right then you pass on and you go to the next life which is heaven or hell or whichever one you deserve anyway what I'm trying to say is my grandma is gone she's in heaven I know that for a fact she was always in church and church doesn't mean you're going to heaven but this lady was serious about the word of God that means she's in heaven right now because she didn't play not only did she not play she made sure she took good care of her son's kids which was us all right now of course you guys already met my grandma before but that's my grandma on my mama's side that's right my mom's mom is still alive that's Dixie the one I did all the chopping for she's still here She's not going nowhere, so don't get confused, all right? This is my dad's mom. My dad has been dead since I was like eight or nine, so y'all never met him. And then his mom, she never came out here. She was almost 90 years old, so she was kind of older, so you never met her. But I'm just letting you guys know because she was a very important person to me, and I'm going to just show you guys how to deal with pain like that, all right? I'm not going to be crying. I'm not going to take extra days off. I'm not going to feel sad or down. She lived a great life. She was a wonderful and inspiring person, and I want you guys to always think that way same as when my boy Blanco died when Blanco died yes I was crying I was hurt I was in the moment I was lost I felt like I didn't want to do anything but after the end all I realized was that I had a good time with Blanco and he gave me a great life while he was here and that's what you're supposed to remember you're not supposed to be dwelling on the fact that they're gone or that they died you're supposed to dwell on the good things so now that I got that out the way Maybe I can wash all this oil out of my head. I was only rocking this, you know what I'm saying, to pay my respects to my grandma, come out here and do my prayer, and then let her know that I'm obviously always thinking of her, and I put the little oil in my hair to make me look a little older, you know what I'm saying? Even though that might not even do nothing, I really don't know why I did that. Just like I don't know why this dude keeps on crying and stuff, like, man, what's the dealio, man? Let me let you out, you know what I'm saying? Let you out of prison. 
Okay, 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 you just broke down. Hey, Rhino, your turn to break out. Yep, my man, that's my man. Don't put no slob on me, I'm going to the gym. I ain't got dirty yet. You too. What the heck? Oh, man, I'm out of here. Leave me alone, Chapin. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Okay, bye-bye. And my boy Leon got a pink book bag trying to hide it. You ain't slick, so you ran up. That, that, that's nations. So why you got it, huh? 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 Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's check out my guys in here, man. You know the California closet, they stay early, man. Always on time. We got some glass in here today. First time I saw some glass, but gotta tell y'all, man. They told me a little secret. That don't fit, so we ain't gonna be seeing it today. Now, what's these black cords hanging? All my lights. You heard that? I like the way that sounds for all your lights. It must be a lot of lights. And I love lights, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? These are the color changing lights. These aren't, but these are color changing, right? I uh, you do have color lights. See what happened was he don't really know. That's why he made that. Alright, but trust me, it's color lights. It better be, cause this is $45,000 and I ain't playing with them. Where Andrea at? I'm coming to call you, girl. No, but seriously though, I know you guys keep hearing me say it costs this, it costs that. Even that doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to tell you something else. When you own a house and you do stuff like that, like, you know, enhance it and pay all these dollar amounts, First of all, I have to explain where I'm from so you guys can have a better understanding because if you don't, then you're just gonna look at me crazy, all right? I'm from a two, no three, I'm from a three bedroom house, one bathroom house, not one and a half, just one. We all share the same toilet, same tub, same sink to brush our teeth. Everything was shared amongst two adults and five kids. That's seven people, three bedrooms, one bathroom. You do the math, all right? Now, out of the three bedrooms, my great grandmother and my grandmother had their own room. So so the five kids shared the smallest room in the house. When you got the smallest room, that just so happens to come with the smallest closet. But when you got five kids, you, you know, generally you got at least five pair of pants and five shirts if everyone has one each. Now, of course, we had a little bit more than one each, so let's just say we had five outfits each. Now, we got 25 shirts and 25 pair of pants. That ain't gonna fit in the closet we had. I'm just not, not even making this up. So we had dressers and drawers. Everybody filled up the dressers with their stuff and all that, but me. I got the closet, all right? That's crazy, I wasn't even the oldest. I got an older sister, but I am the oldest boy, and I took over every and anything I could, and that is the same person I am today. If I see something I want, I'ma take that. Anyway, that sounded kind of messed up. But what I'm trying to say is, yes, fast forward to my present life, I'm building a $45,000 closet. But rewind, I was living in a $45,000 house. Like that's crazy and it should be inspiring, all right? Everything I do is inspirational, never to flex. Put it like this, I grew up in a closet, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. I grew up in a house that cost the same amount as a closet. Am I the only one paying $45,000 for a California closet? No, there are a lot of people out there that can afford the stuff like this and they're doing this every day. Which means when I was growing up, I was living in personally my own closet and my family was all living in my closet and that's just not fair. What I'm trying to say is, Never forget where you came from and never be afraid to go farther than where you already been. And don't let nobody hold you back. A lot of times people are gonna hate on you because they want what you got and they don't understand how you got it, okay? That's the truth. They be like, $45,000 closet, you flex too much. But it really did cost $45,000 and I'm not flexing because I really did it. To flex means to do something or say you've done something that you really can't do, all right? You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't like flexing your muscles. It's like saying, I got $10 billion in my account, no, and I don't. That's flexing, that's cap. You know what I'm saying? I don't cap. Something else that's very important is today marks the start of the actual giveaway process. All right, I'm giving away four iPhones. Y'all already been new because I've been posting since last year, trying to get you guys hyped and engaged. But this giveaway is super different, all right? Because I'm going into collaboration with somebody. I'm doing this giveaway with someone. Usually I buy all this with my own money and I give it away on my own terms, but now, Someone gave me these to give away to y'all, and I'm gonna do it they way. So, all you got to do is make sure you look in the description of this video to find out the rules and regulations to this iPhone giveaway. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, and because if you ain't following me on Instagram, how you gonna know when I'm actually doing a giveaway? Anyway, I gotta go. I'm out. Peace. So cool, so cool, so cool. Ooh, so cool, so cool, so cool. Yeah. So cool.